and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, why are you talking Here to you me? Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. All finished? Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. I've got other things to do. Good to see you. I'm all done, Mr. Brach. I guess. Uh, yes? Wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Mm. Hmm. We're not friends. Yep. 
Just as We're I thought. We're never going to be friends. You're slated for the Got engineering it? track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the goat. Oh, gee. That's not so... Apparently, you're management material. You're going to be trained as a shift supervisor. Could I be talking to the next overseer? Stranger things have happened. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Good to see you. Freddy, do you understand what pencils down means? I'll see you tomorrow. Anything is possible, even an A. That is the promise. Is he going to get to work? Selfish and insubordinate is just like You need to know these things. Wake up! I'm not going Come to on, wake up! You've got to wake up! Don't be a smart mouth! This is serious! My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here! It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My god, they killed him! They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop! Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them, but we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. Not this time. My father, he's not listening to anybody. If he even finds out that I've been helping you... But that doesn't matter. I can take care of myself. It's you he's looking for. And I have a plan. I know how to get you out of the vault. Well, I, I think it'll work. Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. I hope you're joking. Even with that pistol, I don't think you'll win a fight against the whole security force. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. More roaches! Get off me!
This is the overseer. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rat roaches. Well, yeah, so I hate rad roaches. So what? I tried to go back in to help her. I swear I did. But I just can't do it. So I'm begging you, please help her. I don't know what I'd do without my mom. Oh, my God, you're right. I can hear the little scratchy feet coming this way. I gotta get out of here. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Butchie, help me! Ah! Ow, that hurts! No! Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Ah, young sir. How very good to see I'm afraid you've missed him. I believe he's gone tops. Me and Ann, I'm not sure how I could help. Better not. We should just go back to our quarters. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me, Tom. Tom Moore. wouldn't listen to me. You, you know how it gets. Tom! This is your fault. 
You and your stupid father. He had to go and leave, didn't he? He had to mess things up for everybody. I know you'd turn up sooner. <laughs> Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us where to find your friend so we can talk to him. He's my friend. I was worried about him. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay. Go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. I didn't think I would make it. My, my, my father, he, I, my Officer Mac, I, I didn't tell them anything, I swear. When the warning sirens came on, they all ran out. I, I guess that was you? I, I see you got the door open, that's good.
Of course. That was the plan, wasn't it? I was supposed to distract them while you got the door open. Mission accomplished! Now you're going to go out there, and I'm gonna go back and make up with my dear old daddy. I guess if anyone can survive out there, it's you. And I'm great at pretending everything's just fine. So that's okay, too. Go on. What are you waiting for? No point in getting caught now after all this trouble. Goodbye. There he is! Overseer's gonna hear about this. <laughs>